Hello and welcome guys, this is The Greatest Intellect here and today I'll show you the easiest and probably the fastest way of connecting a PS3 controller to your PC. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing we're going to need is the USB cable that comes with the DualShock 3 controller and you will need to connect the controller to your computer using the USB cable. The system will then start installing the drivers for the controller. If it does, very well. If it doesn't, do not worry. We'll only need to know if the controller is connected successfully or not. And for that, we'll head to search and we'll type set up USB game controllers and this option should appear. We'll click on it and in this menu, uh, if you see your controller, that means it is connected. Now I'm going to connect my controller and I will show you how does it look like when it connects. So I'm connecting my controller right now. Okay, so there you go. You see the PlayStation 3 controller connected and the status is okay. So it's properly working. Now we hit properties and you will see all of these. Uh, these are the button inputs of the controller. Now, if I click any, if I push any buttons on the controller, it should do something, but it does nothing because obviously the Windows doesn't support this controller. So how do we fix that? Well, to fix that, you will need a software. The download link will be in the description box below. You will download and install the software. I mean, extract the software, which I'm going to do right now. And you can extract it anywhere on your computer. Just don't delete it. I will extract it in my in, in my computer C drive and there you go. Now the software is ex extracted. Now we locate the folder and we will go inside the SCP driver package folder and then SCP server bin and finally you will see all of these executable files. I mean applications and you will launch the SCP driver one. And in this menu, before we hit install, you need to make sure the controller is connected. And also you need to make sure that you check mark this force install option. This is really important. Uh, sometimes it does not work if you don't, you know, check mark this while installation. So you need to make sure it is check marked and then hit install. Okay, there you go. Now the software is installed. We can close this and we'll head back to set up USB game controller option again, which is here. And now, as you can see here, the controller suddenly changed its name. Now it's an Xbox controller. It actually, uh, what the software does is actually it makes the computer think that this is an Xbox controller and that's how it is compatible now. So we will hit properties now and we'll test if it's working or not. As you can see here, it is properly working now. All of the buttons are working. So that's how we make a DualShock 3 work on a PC. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if it did, please make sure to give it a like and a sub will be, as I always say, awesome. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.